and, and let go. Um, so, yeah, we're in a situation now where they've got a lot of inexperienced officials. Yeah, just a quick couple from me. My first one, obviously going as a player, you know, you get there on a Saturday, you think, Christ, it's going to be a long afternoon. Is there any any teams where you come up on your fixture list and you thought, oh, God, here we go again? On what, sorry? Is there anyone who's come up on your fixture list where you just think, oh, Christ, here we go again. I'm going there. It's going to be, I'm just going to get hammered for 80 minutes. Uh, I'll go back to Catalan, but I always, I always love my trips to Catalan. Um, you know, you'd, you'd fly down there on a on a Friday morning. Game was a Saturday. Lovely, lovely town. Um, lovely, lovely area. Weather's decent, so it was you know quite a, a decent trip to go down there. But it was very challenging at the same time. Uh, I remember I got I got assaulted after one game down there. Uh, Catalan had lost. I think Leeds were were involved in that in that one. Um, coming through the the crowd at the back of the stand towards uh, towards our car, some some uh, French guy come, come up behind me and, and hit, hit me at the back of the head. Uh, security, you know, managed to deal with the situation. But yeah, I've heard stories of somebody putting a cigarette out on one of the referees in in Catalan and things like that. It's quite a, a challenging place to go. Yeah, it doesn't. I've been there to watch, and it's not overly welcoming as a uh, spectator. Never mind, not else. <laughs> uh, obviously, you've had quite a glittering career. Is there any teams or players who stand out to you where you just think, oh, when you were watching, you just thought that's unbelievable? That like, obviously, you think your Benji Marshalls, your Lockyers, your first, and who sticks out for you? I think uh, Greg Inglis, first time I, I refereed him in uh, two thousand and nine, just. His ability on the ball, um, how he, you know, takes some stopping uh, defensively is really strong as well. Just his all-round game, his talk. Um, I think I think he'll do really well in Super League. I think he'll be one of the leading players next year. This year, sorry. <clears throat> Final one from me, which is, um, what are your thoughts on the NRL bunker? Obviously, it caused a lot of controversy over there with the decisions. Obviously, we've seen VAR brought into football over here. What are your thoughts surrounding it all? I think it, I think it's good, to, you know, to have every game on on TV. Obviously, Super League, um, we only get two, sometimes three games with Catalan on TV. But you know, to have to have every game on TV and have that ability where you know you can you can help help officials because I think there's a there's a perception in this country that we, we can't we can't use the video ref um, how, how we'd like um, because there's only two games on TV um, there's a disadvantage if you start asking the video referee for certain uh, certain situations which I think is rubbish to be fair I think you know there's a, an inconsistency straight away where, where there's only two games so you know that that can't be an excuse. The two games that you have on TV, or the three games you have on TV, you, you use whatever's available to you. Um, and I think I think they should should use the the video referee more, especially that on foul play. Um, the one back end of, of last year where Leeds played Warrington. <coughs> um, no, sorry, Catalan played. Catalan played Leeds at Warrington. Um, Mickey McAloran nearly decapitated uh, Brad Dwyer. Uh, I think certain protocols that they have now, I, think I could see that the officials were kind of wanting to wanting to use the video referee in that situation. But I think the video referee were kind of, well, I can't come in and say this and that because we have policies and stuff like that. Get the decision right. You know, McAloran should have been sent off there. So... I don't care what whatever means you, you get the player sent off, whether it's outside of the protocols and you can't say this, you can't say that. That McLaurin needed sending off. Um, and I think there's too much of we can't do this, we can't do that because it's there's inconsistencies. Well, just use it. It's inconsistent that we've only got two games on seat on TV, so just just use it to your advantage. 
just to round off, Rich, 15 years at the, the highest level and you've refereed every possible game and every top game you possibly could. Any, any regrets? Uh, just just how it, how it ended, obviously. Um, I think it, it tarnished what I'd achieved. Didn't like it. Uh, didn't obviously want it to, to end like, like that. Um, again, so, some will say I deserved it. I think it was a bit harsh myself, knowing knowing exactly what went on. Uh, could it have been handled any any better? Yeah, probably I was inappropriate what I did, and but not the worst thing that's happened. And just move on. Yeah, like I said, she uh, she wanted to carry on and, and work with me again, so it wasn't wasn't anything uh, you know what needed to uh, end my career over. So. Yeah, just regretting how, how it ended, really. Well, I think one thing you can't regret, mate, is that refereeing every single possible top game that you could do. You had a, a glittering career and, and one of the most talked about figures, good and and controversial in, in, in rugby league in my lifetime, especially, mate. Thank you very much for, for telling us everything that you possibly could and, and thanks for coming on, yeah. bud. No problem at all. Cheers, guys. Take care, mate.